The authors of YOLO V7 advanced the YOLO legacy and introduced YOLO V9. In this video, we will learn about YOLO V9, run inference with it and compare it to other YOLO models. Hey there, welcome to Learn Open CV. YOLO V9 addressed the information loss during data transformation within the network as well as improved the model's efficiency. It tackles this by introducing reversible functions, PGI and GLAN. We'll understand more about this later on in the video. First, let's see how YOLO V9 fares. YOLO V9 has four sizes available. Small, medium, compact and extended. As the number of parameters increases, the average precision increase, which is usually the case. Comparing all the largest models from YOLO V7, V8 and V9, we see the number of parameters decreases with each iteration while the average precision increases. The number of floating point operations also increases, which is bad. However, there is a 1.4% bump from V7 to V9 and a 36% leap from V7 to V8. Theoretically, YOLO V8 should have a slower inference speed, but that's not how the story goes. Visually, YOLO V9 results are spectacular in low light conditions, as well as in blurry videos. And when we compare YOLO V9 and V8 inference results, we see similar objects being detected. YOLO V8 wrongly detects a few objects, however, it runs faster than YOLO V9. Wait, how is that possible? YOLO V8 has more number of parameters than YOLO V9. It should run slower. Well, it can be chalked up to layer and model optimization. YOLO V8 has been here for more than a year now and its models are optimized. We can only hope for the same for YOLO V9. Anyway, now let's see how to run inference using YOLO V9. To follow along with me, open the Learn Open CV blog post link from the description, click on the download code banner, fill in your details and hit enter. You'll receive the starter code link in your email, download it and let's get started. First, we need to download the YOLO V9 repo and download the modified general.py file for inference. Now copy this general.py file into the YOLO V9 repo and then download the video to run inference on. Good. Now change directory into the YOLO v9 repo, install the requirements and download the model weights. We are ready to run inference now. Use detect.py from the YOLO v9 repo, pass the source file, the weights file, specify the device, 0 is for GPU and the IOU threshold. Run this code and the video will be generated in the runs directory. Here is the result. If these concepts are difficult to grasp, check out OpenCV University's free TensorFlow and Keras bootcamp. Go to opencv.org slash university slash free courses to know more. Now, to tackle the information bottleneck, YOLO V9 introduces reversible function. It enables the model to access the input data throughout the network. And the solution is Programmable Gradient Information or PGI. It has a main branch, an auxiliary reversible branch and a multi-level auxiliary branch to facilitate this. The main branch is kept lean for quick inference without additional computational overhead. Meanwhile, the auxiliary reversible branch is used for preserving and utilizing the complete input data for learning. And the multi-level auxiliary branch is used for multi-level objects. The YOLO V9 model uses GLAN which is built on top of ELAN with the goodness of the PGI framework. To know more about these concepts, check out our blog post YOLO V9 Advancing the YOLO Legacy on Learn Open CV. The link will be in the description. So, that's all about YOLO V9. If you like this video, 
check out our playlist on YOLO Masterclass. Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.